Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today we have come up with a new feature called Checklist. There are many good reasons to use a checklist template for your work task. The apparent advantage is that everything is laid out in a clear and transparent manner. Everyone knows what they need to do at given point during a task or project. It also enables you to finish larger tasks and projects on schedule. To begin with, the first step you need to do is go on to organization management first, then click on the specific company and go to the setting menu from the top corner. Here you will be having an option to enable checklist. To add your own template, click on add new template where you can create your own multiple template to set the process for the task which can be imported during the task. So here. I am making one template as content process. Under that, I am adding 5 steps which will be compulsory to complete when I am assigning a task on content. So first I am adding is research. Then I am adding drafting of content. After that, I am keeping one more as an approval of draft. Then I am keeping design of content and last process that is final content. And now I will save the template. Once I save the template, all the list will appear like this and I will also have an option to share these templates to your team members or managers so that when they are assigning tasks, they will be having the option to import the same checklist. Now let's go to task and import one checklist. So here I am adding a new task. I am giving a task name as COVID-19 post. I am giving a due date as today itself of 9th. And I am assigning this task to Muskan Kothari. Now to add checklist from template we have created, you will have an option from this three dot button and click on import checklist. You will select the checklist which you want to import and you will have an option to import the checklist in subtask as well. Now you will also have an option to create your own add-on checklist manually as well. Suppose I want to add posted on social media, I will click on plus and add it. Also, you can make checklist mandatory from here so that the person will not be able to mark task as completed unless and until he has not completed the checklist. Now I will submit this task. Now let's jump to Muskan's Kothari profile. On her task dashboard, she will receive the task. Now let's open the COVID-19 post task and see all the checklists. So here she can mention the due date of the checklist as well as for particular checklist if she wants to add any notes, comments or attachments she can do it from here. Now in order to complete the checklist she needs to click on this tick button and all the log will appear in the log activity as well. So this is how you can use checklist in multiple ways. Thank you for watching our video to keep tabs on all the updates and tutorial series do subscribe to our channel and get notified for more videos stay effective stay productive thank you